next guest is best known for his role as the quirky and lovable NBC page Kenneth Parcell on 30 Rock. Well, his new show on Apple TV Plus, Hello Jack, The Kindness Show, is truly a passion project that the goal is to teach kids how to solve problems using their hearts. My book! It's ruined! Oh, no! Now I don't have a book to read to my uncle. I'm so sad, Jack. I understand how sad you are about your book, Olivia. And you worked so hard on it. I really did. But remember, no matter what happens to the pages, your story is still in here. In here? Exactly, Olivia. It's in here. Please welcome Jack McBrayer. Joins us from Los Angeles. You just own my heart now. I am so happy you're doing this show. Congratulations. Thank you. It means a lot to me, too. Well, this whole show is about finding meaning and purpose. Clearly, to do a show like this, there had to be a moment where you said, this is what I can contribute. This is my next phase. And it has a purpose. You're exactly right. It, it, it came over a period of time. But just over the course, course over the past few years, I started noticing how people were treating each other and behaving towards each other, and I couldn't help but notice a, a lack of compassion and a lack of civility and a lack of kindness. Yeah. And that made me think, when do we learn these lessons in our lives? And so I thought about my early childhood and the programs that we all grew up with. A big inspiration was Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And I was moved to try to do something like that, something to honor those messages. I love it. Listen, they should air this show on airplanes, yeah. <laughs> just on a loop, because I know it's directed at kids, but I can't tell you how many times I've flown and I'm like, hmm, there needs to be a course not on how to put your seatbelt on, oh, how to yeah. be kind and not hit somebody in the head with your luggage and wait and let the older person go in front of you. Airplanes, grocery stores, post office, everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Just on a loop. <laughs> on a loop. You know what? I, I think this is fascinating because to your point, I didn't realize that empathy was taught until I had my son. I just thought people learned it through life. But it is taught through stuffed animals, through lessons. And it was something that hit me head on when my son turned one. And I said, you got to teach this. This is what you teach in the It's home. true. It's teachable, and also there's so many different ways to explore this. And uh, just to be clear, my background is in comedy, but because I wanted to do this meaningfully and thoughtfully, I took a deep dive. I went to um, conventions about early childhood development and education. Uh, Apple teamed me up with a production company that specializes in children's programming. So I was I was in it for the long haul. I wanted to do this appropriately and correctly and and with meaning. I love that. So when you were you know taping and you'd go home and you think about your life and the great success you had on Talladega Nights and Thirty Rock, would you did you wake up and have those moments like this is it? This is truly, it's rewarding, and it is purposeful. It felt so purposeful, and I'm going to be honest, it wasn't completely selfless. Uh, when the world is beating you up a little bit, just emotionally or spiritually or whatever, I was so grateful and so relieved to have a project like this that I could focus on about positivity and compassion and just all the good things, tolerance, patience, listening, uh, things that we weren't necessarily seeing a great many examples of. Right, and I do, and I love that because to your point, I, I personally think that most people are kind, I think most people are good, but we get busy, we get reckless, we get to your point sometimes selfish, and then these behaviors go unchecked and kids see it. When people talk about bullying, I say, do you think that just happened in a vacuum? They saw it at home. And it's not to scold, because we all do it. We all slip up and sometimes don't do the most polite thing. But this is a reminder. It is a reminder. And I mean, yes, we're all human beings and stuff. But I'm a big fan of modeling the behavior that I would love for our younger kids to, to hold on to and to make it fun and accessible and easy for them, you know? Absolutely, because being kind should be fun. And, and I have a friend sure. who loves to say, why be mean when kind will do? 
And I yeah. believe that to be true. So thank you. Do you feel like you're the next Mr. Rogers? I mean, it's hard to say that because, it, you know, there's only one Mr. Rogers, but do you, do you feel like that might be the next Mr. Rogers here? I mean, don't get me wrong. When I was coming up with this, I was like, there's not really a lot of shows like Mr. Rogers out there right now. So let me try to fill in that void. I am no Fred Rogers by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I like a Bud Light every once in a while. <laughs> uh, <but> <laughs> I want to try to help. I want to try to be of service yeah. for those, uh, those messages. I want to honor that. Well, your sweater game is as good as Fred Rogers right now. So I'll give you that. I like the color. I love the smile. Congratulations. You can bet. This show will be on loop in my home. I'm, I'm very proud that my son will be able to watch something this great. Thank you so much for joining us, Jack.